Remember, it's a war zone out there. If you're looking to skip the grind for items in Fallout 76, visit the link in the description to go to AOA.com. Use code RALSAY at checkout for 3% off your order. Alright, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Fallout 76 weapon guide. Today we have the Anchorage Ace. Finally. Dude, I've done this event. I've done that neurological shit probably like 24 goddamn times. And then finally, nice guy, Dicka, Dicka Patini. Sorry, I probably said your name wrong. You gave it to me. I already had one, but you gave me another one, so it's a thought that counts. And if the uh, and if I didn't get one, I would have had it from you. But you're fucking cool, dude. Love you, bro. All right, little edit here. Um, I didn't get this from an event. Someone else gave this to me before the other guy gave it to me. Uh, Royal Death Queen, thank you so much. I figured you didn't want to be forgotten about. I'm pretty sure she would appreciate me saying, hey, thank you so much. Um, I didn't want to feel like a dick for not um appreciating and saying that you gave it to me i didn't get it from the event i just had a brain fart there but yeah thank you so much royal death queen and thank you so much to i can't pronounce his name i even butchered it in the video but thank you to that dude but anyway yeah anchorage ace this is a a first of its kind it is a 10 millimeter submachine gun that they slapped a reflex sight and a suppressor onto you can't see the suppressor we're just going to pretend like it's integral um and uh, yeah, it's actually really, really, really good. So I went ahead and put the prime barrel on here with an aligned long barrel and a forceful stock. And its condition is massive. That's really good. And the perforating magazine. Its AP cost is super low without fat. I think it's like 5 if you put on the quick mag. But I wanted that extra arm penetration. So our AP cost is 13, which is not bad whatsoever. The gun looks pretty cool. I don't like the rusted out bit. I wish it was just all white and fresh looking like the Operation Anchorage weapons in Fallout 3. But it's okay. It still looks pretty cool. Anyway, the build for today. We got Blocker, Traveling Pharmacy, and Bandolier. Uh, concentrated fire with all the commando perks because this is a commando gun with tank killer radical and rejuvenated field surge strange in numbers and tenderizer uh, nerd rage gunsmith and weapons artisan uh, we got born survivor adrenaline action boy covert operative uh, sneak escape artisan gun foo uh, bloody mess serendipity uh, class freak starts jeans goob assault and critical savvy and the legendary perks are intelligence charisma perception strength follow through and agility uh, uh, and my legend, my fucking specials are 5, 12, 3, 3, 6, 12, 15. Uh, my mutations, here they are. Adrenal reactions, the only one that matters, but here's a little scroll through every other mutation I got. And we are running some unyielding AP refresh Sentinels Ultralight for a scout armor today. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go see how it does against the mutants of West Tech. And we are here at uh, West Tech with the Operation Anchor uh, uh, Anchorage Ace, rather. Sorry. It's let's just see how it does. I'm very excited. I've already used it a little bit, and it's pretty good. But uh, let's do it. Alrighty, that is West Tech cleared out already with this thing. I gotta say, it's pretty good. Um, it's not on that. It's not on that fixer level, you know. But for a weapon, right, that you can get from an event, it comes with a predetermined roll. You can't re-roll it. It's pretty incredible. Um, so for the guys out there that can't get their hands on a fixer, a perfect roll one, blah blah blah, yada yada yada. This will serve you well for you starter commandos out there. Even late game commandos like me that already have everything. It's still pretty good and fun to use because now, I'm sorry, I'm rambling, but now I can have this because it uses 10 millimeter. I can have my fixer, which uses 45, and I can have my handmade that uses 556. And on top of that, I can have my alien disintegrator, which is also silent, that uses alien blaster rounds. So you can have a bunch of different weapons using different ammo types to spread the love a little bit and use less of the same ammo. Fucking amazing. Okay, let's keep going. Okie dokie, and we're inside a West Tech with the operation. I'm gonna fuck, goddammit. Anchorage Ace. Anchorage Ace. Let's, uh, let's keep going, guys.
and uh, okay, yeah, it's good. This is great. Um, it really, man. I mean, look, it's great, right? It, it sucks that we can't put reflex sights and suppressors on 10 millimeter submachine guns because this clearly proves it can happen. Maybe there's some complex coding going on here allowing them to do that. But if they can do this, they can definitely figure out how to add reflex sights and suppressors to all 10 millimeter submachine guns. But they're probably not going to do that. That way they can, damn, that dude's fucking fell into the goddamn goo, damn. But um, they're probably doing that just to differentiate, differentiate between all of them. Um, so this can feel special compared to other 10 millimeter sub machine guns, but I mean, hey, dude, it's good. Uh, what was that like? 500 damage on a crit? That's on par with my quad fixer. Bloody fixers obviously are going to be doing better, but I prefer quad. Um, 679. What the hell? That is fantastic. So yeah, this gun is really good. I think the only thing really bogging it down here is its low magazine capacity. You can always put the drum mag on there. I forget how much rounds you get with that. 40, 50, something like that. Um, but it's not bad. If you compare it to a... Oh, did I get caught? You motherfucker. When you compare it to, um, you know, a fixer, I think the fixer has, like, what, 20, 30 rounds with the perforating mag in there. Um, of course, fixer's gonna be better, but, I mean, this is a gun you can get from an event, and all you need to do is put on a couple extra, uh, modifications to make it better, but even without them, it's still gonna be really good. So, yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. It's a good gun, and I'm so glad I have it. Well, that is the most of us that cleared out. I hear you talking, but where are you? Um, it's not too bad. I, well, you know, it's good. This is actually good. Definitely a fantastic weapon. Um, there we go. That's West that cleared out. So, yeah, it's great. It's, I mean, you know, the ticket to revenge, the ticket to bullshit, it was a letdown. People are still mad at me about my reaction to that. Telling me I need a therapist. Come on, man. People get mad, okay? But anyway, um, this is definitely the love letter to Commando builds because you can rock this and a bunch of other guns and spread out the ammo types that you use. But anyway, let's keep going. All right, we're here at Swallowman's Pond with the Anchorage Ace. Um, I imagine it's going to do really good. Uh, but yeah, shout out to that guy saying I need a therapist for getting angry at a weapon in a game. I mean, I get it. You know, it's pixels on a screen. I shouldn't get mad about it. Um, but, you know... Who cares? Dude, come on. Do you really got to glaze with us to that fucking hard, man? It's a disappointment. It's a letdown. We were promised something great, and it was not good. What more can I say? Am I not allowed? And he's dead already. Am I not allowed to be mad about it? I don't really care what you think. But that is the Anchorage Ace. Blood, fucking just demolished that guy. Demolished everyone. Skin's good on it. It's suppressed. It has a reflex sight. AP cost is super low. When you compare this to the standard 10mm submachine gun, there's no comparison. It's just better in every single way. I feel like there's unlisted um, effects on here. Giving it more damage. Giving it less action point cost. And giving it faster fire rate. Because weapons without the faster fire rate legendary effect will not do the two-shot bug in third person. But this one... It does the two-shot bug in third person from pressing the mouse once. So, you can do the two-shot bug and clear out the mag super fast. That's why I did most of this video in third person. But yeah, guys, that's the Anchorage Ace. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are great. And uh, peace out.